Well, I've got some more interesting news out of the uh, incident where the Buddhist activist was, was attending this event where Hindus were being converted to Buddhism and these Buddhist activists were going out and basically dissing these Hindu gods and telling the Buddhist converts to renounce Hindu gods. In this occasion, some of the new Buddhist converts were actually uh, photographed and even a video of them taken throwing images of Hindu gods off a bridge into a river. And believe me, that created no small stir on Twitter. Okay, Here's a video for yourself. Check it out. Yeah, you can imagine, given how I've done in the past videos showing the fact that Hinduism is not any different than Islam in terms of how they would react to blasphemy towards their deities, but this first tweet uh, is actually very interesting because it shows the Buddhists actually pushing back against the Hindu frenzy. It says in this first tweet, uh, Hindu right wing has no self-respect at all. Uh, he says, Ari Merk, Sikhs, Buddhists don't want to be associated with Hindu. They're a separate religion who don't who doesn't believe in Hindu gods. Then why the, you know, uses profanity. Uh, do you, Chadi Chods, are always dragging them into the Hindu fold, have some self-respect. So he's saying that we don't want to be lumped in with you guys, you know. Because, you know, basically pushing back against this Hindu frenzy uh, over these Buddhist activists dissing the Hindu gods. Now, this other tweet is also very interesting because it's actually, uh, I guess, it's, I think a reporter actually pointing out the hypocrisy of the Hindutva and these Hindus calling for boycotts of Muslims, then getting upset when a Buddhist activist calls for boycotts of Hindu gods. You know, it is a load of hypocrisy. This tweet, uh, it says, pull it up. Uh, India, a political leader can ask for the boycott of a community and face no consequences. And, and he says, and she says, another must resign for asking for a boycott of Hindu gods. Now I should point out, this is not a promotion of Buddhism or Islam. Okay, Islam is every bit as false and Luciferian as Hinduism, and Buddhism is also a false religion too. But it's a bit hypocritical to call for boycotts of Muslims, but then get offended when there is a Buddhist who calls for boycotts of Hindu, you know, Hindu deities. Bit of a double standard there, but that's Hinduism for you. Uh, this other tweet is also interesting because this Hindu activist is now saying that the Buddhist guy's religion is an anti-Hindu cult, which is actually kind of ironic considering the fact that Hinduism has a very long, rich history of persecuting Buddhists. In fact, the persecution that Buddhists face under Hinduism actually even puts what the Muslims did to shame. You know, the Muslims are, you know, there's a big thing of all the Muslims are persecuting the Buddhists. You know, the Taliban blew up a statue of Buddha. You know, yeah, that's, that definitely is there, but what the Hindus did to the Buddhists would put the Muslims to shame. Believe me, it's pretty bad. Uh, but this tweet, uh, it says, uh, it says this is the Hindu, you know, trying to defend the whole thing or whatever, trying to defend their reaction. Biggest lie of our times invented and propagated by Sangis. It says, I'm the cars. I'm probably not saying that right. Religion is within the Aramaic fold. Truth is... So they're saying that, that it's lies saying that his religion is within the Dharmaic fold. He says the truth is that it is an anti-Hindu cult. It vows hatred for Hindu gods, Hindu Dharma, Hindu Shastras. Probably not saying that right. And it pledges enmity against the Hindu Dharma. It is an a-Dharmaic fold. Whatever that means. But so pushing back, which is, again is rather ironic calling it an anti-Hindu cult. Considering the fact that you know not only did the Hindus persecute the Buddhists, but the Hindu scriptures like the Vedas and all this other stuff are just filled with en of endless profanity against Buddhism. So, uh, also the Rig Veda, Bhagavad Gita, all this other stuff. Yeah, so it just shows how the Hindus, when you uh, blaspheme one of their gods, they'll have the same kind of reaction that Muslims will have. And again, not a promotion of the false religion of Buddhism or the false religion of Islam, but just showing kind of the irony there. And showing the fact that Hinduism is far from being a, a peaceful, pluralistic religion that it supposedly you know, professes itself to be. 
So anyway, don't be deceived by the media narrative that Hinduism is peaceful or that Islam is peaceful. Okay, both are equally violent. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.